Deke, you there? I crafted you a couple of items if you want to swing by. Oh, Boozer, that's amazing. Uh, yeah, I do need some. Deacon out. Someone's here. Something's wrong. See you in <laughs> coming! Bring him down! Take him down! Needing this? This has got to be the generator, but it's been shot to hell. Okay, that should do it. There we go. Drop it! If you had bullets, I wouldn't be breathing, now would I? Please, mister. I don't shoot women if I have a choice. Do I have a choice? I ain't got nothing. I got nowhere to go! Jesus Christ. All right, let's see if they got an underground bunker around here.
always need this. Here's the hatch. Yeah, knew you had one. Hello, a map. Looks like they marked it up pretty good. Dick, you there? There? It's probably nothing. It sounded like bike engines, riding somewhere on the mountain. I just finished clearing the radio tower for Copeland. I'm, I'm gonna climb the tower, see if I can see anything. sound like like yourself it's not, it's nothing you know i just let this drifter get the drop on me lucky for me she was uh out of ammo you let her go didn't you okay yeah fuck yes yes i let her go one of these days deke that code of yours it's gonna get you killed yeah well something's gonna do it right does it matter what deacon out Jesus, what a climb. All right, let's see what the hell Boozer's talking about. We're right, someone's on the mountain. I see smoke from their campfire. Oh, son of a bitch, I knew I heard something. Where are they? I'm gonna head out there. No, God damn it, Boozer. Gotta get your arm healed up so we can ride the hell out of here. I'll take care of him. Oh, shit. It's just... Stir crazy here, Dick. Just try to stay awake in case they head your way. Dick and out. Almost there. Yeah, come on, keep going. Almost there. Oh, shit's killing me. St. John to Copeland's camp. It's done. The radio tower's locked down. I've restored your radio bubbling. Try going hungry for three days. There's no such thing as a starving patriot. Well, sir, I hope to God you're wrong about that. Hold it out. Radio Free Oregon. Jesus, what have I done? Mass grave. Why'd they bury this shit out here again? Oh, yeah, because they're assholes. Do 
I get in there? Free Oregon. The truth shall set you free. Who remembers the skid rows of this great country? People living on the streets in boxes and tents because they couldn't afford the American dream. Some of those good people fought for this very country, only to have the feds forget about them as soon as they were done with them. PTSD it doesn't stand for post-traumatic stress disorder. It stands for put them soldiers down. Well, we're all homeless now, living in the wilderness in the way of our forebearers. The feds used to think we needed their welfare and handouts to survive. We showed them how wrong they were. What we need now is a strong will, determination, and trust in each other. The feds were never going to give us that. And you? You want our trust? You gotta earn it. This is Mark Copeland for Radio Free Oregon. Don't believe the lies. <laughs> That's great. That's great. Radio Free Organs on the air once again. Oh, Jesus, what have I done?
Booze man, you awake? I'm uh, heading to that camp you spotted north of the mountain. Uh, I heard gunshots. Uh, might be an ambush camp. Find out when I get there. Eat it out. Booze man, you were right. They set up along the railroad tracks. Kill every one of the sons of bitches. Hey, that was kind of the plan. Deacon out. Could use this again. What's up? Hey! That yeah, should do it. This is awesome. Men come! <laughs> 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 Boozer, it's done. Squatter camp. They won't be doing any more killing on O'Leary Mountain. Good. Deke. I should have been there. To help, I mean, I... Shit. Just rest up, Booze man. Rest up. We're riding north as soon as your arm heals. You got that? Yeah, yeah, I hear you. Boozer up. Yeah, I'm gonna ride up to the cemetery and see if I can find the other stash. Sorry. What was that? Rest of the loser. We're heading north as soon as you can ride. North? Yeah. Now I might be able to catch up to him. I want him alive, Deke. Alive? Alive. You catch this man and radio me. Fetch him and hang the bastard right from that land. It's time we start showing these drifter sons of bitches that we have law and order in this camp. No offense meant to yourself. I'm taking. I'll find him. Boozer, no, no, you're gonna get yourself killed. Uh, you gotta wait till you're cold, brother. Uh, I'm over here anyway, so I'll take care of the mess, okay? Yeah, okay. Thanks, Deke. Deke, wait till tonight. Be fewer freaks inside those nests. Look me up if you need or anything else. Take them out while it's still light out. There'll be more of them, but they won't be as strong. What? 
Not enough credits? All right. Hey, how you doing? Hey, Deke. I just need to let you know something. Uh, I saw when they brought your bike in. I knew it was yours the second I saw it. Yeah, is that right? Yeah. Look, I tried to talk to Cope, but he's pretty pissed right now, okay? Not at you, well, maybe at you, but man, at the Rippers, you know, they hit us pretty hard, you hear? Yeah, I heard. Hey, see ya. See you later. That's all I got. I didn't think I'd see you around so much. Hey. Hey, Deke. Hold on, I Deke. got it. Okay. Deacon. Hey, look. I got it. Give me a second. Oh, shit, what the hell happened here? Uh, that might be worth having a look around. Son of a bitch, you radio me. Copeland out. There you are. Mike. There he is! Silver helmet. Red gas tank. That's him. Oh shit! The hell? So you thought you'd ride into Copeland's camp, shoot the place up, that about right? Kill a few folks, take some shit, just ride out, and you just chop. You do, you 
Yeah, Will Cope kind of frowns on that. Not a fan of it myself, if you want to know the truth. Give drifters a bad name. But what if you'd shot Manny, you know? Who'd fix my bike then? Stupid piece of shit. <laughs> Screw you! You want to cope with stories? You little bitch! That's what you are! You little bitch! Cope, it's done. But now I got him. Mark down these coordinates and send your man out here. Is he alive? Yeah, he's alive. But I won't promise you how long he's gonna stay that way. Deacon out. Okay, this is it. Yeah, oh, this camp is gonna be crawling. Yeah, going on foot, nice and quiet. Mm. Oh, that blows up real good. Warn you. How'd you like that? Huh? Come on, you sons of bitches, come on! Deke, you there? D did you say you were heading north? Booze man, no. You know, I wouldn't ride north without you. Yeah, yeah, I know. I just kind of out of it. Well, third degree burns will do that to you. Yeah. So, I'll take care of Alvarez, you know. Think. It's a lot to know. Get some more. Think it out. Damn freaks. What the hell are you doing out here? Okay, one that's done. We get that arm patched up, we're riding north, just like you say. Uh, I hope so. Just work on getting better. I still got some work to do on the bike, and we gotta stock up on some gear. <laughs> just work on getting better. I still got some work to do on the bike, and we gotta stock up on some gear, but once you're patched up, we're out of here. Deacon out. That'll warm you up.
They look pretty broken to me, Cope. But hey, whatever you say. And eh, nothing wrong with a little crass commercialism. I mean, I could use a new bike right about now. the last of them. Whew. Finally. Boozer, it's done. I cleared those nests. Should be less freaks on the mountain from now on. Hey, Deke. How'd it go with her? With her a lot of them? Nah, it wasn't too bad. That's why I wanted to take them on while it's dark out. Some of them were kind of strong as hell, though. Yeah. The cold makes them stronger. Yeah, yeah, Boozer. I knew that. Infestation zone. Sure smells like it. <clears throat> gotta burn it down. I gotta clear them out.
Hmm. That's interesting. Weeping Angel. This has got to be it. Now, where'd you hide the stash, Leon? What do we got? Uh, maybe in one of these. <laughs> got it. Now, I just gotta figure out who I'm gonna give this to. Uh, oh, you're not gonna believe this. I just saw a goddamn chopper. A, a chopper? What, what are you talking about? A near chopper. It, it just buzzed right over me and acted like I wasn't even there. Wait, all this time in a fed chopper shows up out of nowhere? Yeah, I'm gonna chase them down and I'm uh, uh, I'm gonna see what the hell they're doing. Hey, D. Be careful. Don't get too close to old. You know what that is. Don't do anything stupid. Hell no, I'm not gonna do anything stupid. Hold on, hold on, they're slowing down. Looks like they're stopping. Feel 
Putnam 2000. After tracking a large moving group, estimated size of 5 to 600, we have confirmed the subject's hibernation location at... Hey Doc, I see Site 23 on the roster for tomorrow. That us? No, it's O'Brien. Got it. <sighs> Shit, where was I? We have confirmed the subject's hibernation location at the High Desert Grotto, now designated Site 15. Trampling of grasses and plants at the entrance, and the presence of footprints, see attached photos, indicate the site has been used for some time. Must be nice and cozy in there. According to the motion sensor, planted by Lieutenant O'Brien, approximately 447 subjects have entered the cave this morning. Recommend sending a follow-up team sometime after 1900 hours to assess the cave's interior and further assess conditions. Now to Dr. Anderson. Your theory about the subjects devolving to a primitive state of nocturnal behavior is seeming more appealing all the time. End report. Not going inside. Keep going. Didn't you hear me? Over He's 400 subjects. Bad. And these aren't just your Go regular run-of-the-mill right. freaks. Right. These are yeah. stage three. They're sleeping like babies. And I asked if you were going in. Can't be. I didn't say I was. And these subjects are not sleeping. They're hibernating. Ever woken up a hibernating bear? No. Ever woken up a hibernating freak? Yeah, actually. I was one of the survivors at the White King mine. Jesus. Someone tear my buddy apart like he was peeling a banana. These suits protect you from a lot of shit. But not them. Holy shit, Corporal. Jesus, I'm, I'm sorry. That mission was foobar from the start. Which is why we are not going inside there. I think if I sealed up this cave, we'd, I don't know, Knock down their population. I don't know, Corporal. A lot of caves out here. Come on, let's get out of here. See the caves. Yeah, right, like anyone gives a damn. Boozer, you there? Booze man, come back. Deke, hey, I'm here. Then we rode out of farewell. The Nero guy, the soldier, or whatever the hell he was, who took Sarah. What, what are you? He had an ID badge. What was the name? Oh, God, O'Brien. You wouldn't shut up about it. All the way out to Three Finger Jack. Okay, he's alive, Boozer. He's alive. What are you talking about? We were there. The whole camp was wiped out. No, I know that, but I heard... Okay, look. I went into their LZ, and they... Wait, wait. You, you went into their LZ? What the... Just listen to me. I heard them over the radio. They were talking about a man named O'Brien. Deke, don't. I'm not, Boozer. I'm not. I'm just... Hey, uh... Get some sleep. Deacon out. Another mobile medical unit. Oh. Gotta find a way inside. See if there's a. Uh, see if there's another injector. This is Radio Free Oregon. The truth shall set you free. The start of this living hell that is now our life came as a surprise to no one who was listening to me when shit went down. And I was one of the few. Push this truck out. Most of who spoke out against the feds. Oh. Well, things didn't go so great for them. The cemeteries are filled with martyrs. 
Those who sought to call out the bullshit and the lies when they saw it. I know. Because they came after me. I started Radio Free Oregon in the last weeks before the feds fell. Broadcast from an unmarked van, moving from town to town. In the days before the Rose came choking up. cars and the bridges destroyed, trying in vain to stop the freaks. This is Mark Copeland for Radio Free Oregon. Don't believe the lies. No, Cope, the cemeteries are filled with freakers, not martyrs. And you had to keep moving, because if anyone had found your unmarked band, they'd have blown it to hell. Just so we wouldn't have to listen to your bullshit Radio Free Oregon. <laughs> Needs help. Help! Help! I need help! Hey, hey, hey! It's okay. You wanna die out here? Look, there's a camp that. Camp? Where? Where? Show me. I'll go. Peaceful Lake. Mark Copeland. It's safe there. I, I, was, I was done for. Holy shit! You know? Thank you so much. Oh, oh, man. That's right. I gotta finish. Tell them it was Deacon. They'll know. Stay off the main roads. Don't stop.
This is Radio Free Oregon. The truth shall set you free. Black helicopters have been spotted in the skies. You might have seen them. Heard them. Thought you were losing your mind. But you're not. They're real. And they're proof that I was right. We thought Nero died out here like the rest of them. Caving under their own stupidity. This cope, they're not trying to reclaim shit! You don't have a damn clue what you're talking about. There. Damn it, sniper ambush. There! This is Radio Free Oregon. The truth shall set you free. Black helicopters have been spotted in the skies. You might have seen them. Heard them. Thought you were losing your mind. But you're not. They're oh, real. Can fix this. And they're Get proof it. that I was right. We thought Nero died out here like the rest of them. Caving under their own stupidity. <clears throat> but no. Like I said, <clears throat> they've been lying and wait all this time crawl up out of their holes and reclaim this world. But it ain't happening. Not on my watch. Shit. And don't go running towards them thinking they're gonna save your ass. Any man wearing a uniform worth a damn died more than two years ago. These men. Shoot you in sight. This is Mark Copeland for Radio 4. Don't believe my eyes. Down you go! More bounties. Yeah, scrap. Another Nero sight. Well, 
Wonder if there's anything in that MMU. Something under this. Oh, here we go. <laughs> Good. And we got green lights. Green lights are good. Power's off. Figures. Let's take a look around. Okay, let's see. What's going on here? Back on track. Feels, yes. <laughs> now we're in business. I'll let you do it. There really better be something in here with all this trouble. What? Oh, uh, arrow injector. Just let's go, ma'am. You must return to your vehicle. We will get to you. Mm. Better living through chemistry. We don't have any water. We just need a little bit of water. Man, you must return to your vehicle now. Eddie, you got some bottled water. Give it to us. Give it to her. Thank you. Okay. Go back to your room. Yes, I'm letting more through very soon. Okay. Please. Thank you. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. What's going on? What's wrong? I lied to her. But I am not letting anyone else through. Refugee camps. What are we going to do? I don't know about you, but I got a plan. What are you talking about? I don't understand. No! No, no, no! <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. So many people. Well, it's like Boozer said. Hell of a way to go. Backed up at these checkpoints. 